All right. So now we still only have perm X, permeability in X direction and porosity and also uh, netto gross. We at least need two permeability directions, which is permeability in Y direction and permeability in Z direction. Okay. Now we only have permeability in X direction. So I can create those parameters by doing this. I will call it first right click, object settings. I will rename it as perm X, all capital. And this one, object settings, poro all capital and also NTG, netto gross. Okay, now I will duplicate this one perm X and I will call it perm Y, permeability in Y direction. Click okay. I will move it there. So I have perm X and perm Y. Now. We are in perm Y, permeability in Y direction. I can use this one, the hammer, to have my calculation. I will open the calculator, arithmetics. So I will create a code for perm Y. So the code is quite simple. Perm Y is actually the same with perm X. So I will just type in like this one, perm X, okay? Or I can delete and select the parameter here. Double click there. So if I click apply, it means the permeability in Y direction is actually the same with permeability in X direction, okay? This is the calculation or the code. I will take permeability in X direction as permeability in Y direction. Okay, click apply, done. Arithmetics done. Now I will create permeability in Z direction. The same, I will duplicate and I will create permeability in Z direction. Click okay. I will locate it there. I will open the calculation. I can do that by opening the hammer or right click show calculations. All right. Now we need to give comment for perm Z. Usually the permeability in Z direction or permeability in vertical direction is smaller than the permeability in horizontal direction or in X and Y direction. So yeah, as a best practice or maybe as a rule of thumb, if we don't know the permeability in Z or in vertical direction, we can do like permeability in X or in horizontal direction multiplied by a fraction, okay? And in this case, I will use 0,1 or 10%. It means that the permeability in vertical direction is only 10% of the permeability in horizontal direction. Okay, so I can click apply. All right. If you change from perm X, the looks will be the same because in reality, the value for permeability in Y direction is taken from permeability in X direction. And the palette is, all, is also the same, right? But if we change, or if you move to permeability in Z direction, the looks is the same, but the scale is now reduced 10% from the permeability in X direction. So the, the, the maximum value for permeability in X direction is 3000 millidarc, but in Z direction is 
from 3000 which is 300 okay so far so good i hope it's clear i can also drag this one by clicking the left button and move it there okay so now i have five main parameters five main properties for static model permeability in x direction permeability in y direction permeability in z direction porosity and net to gross these five parameters are the basic the minimum requirement for us to do simulation okay if we don't have one of them we need to provide with the grid consisting of this parameter all right of course you can also have grid for other parameters like saturation or also capillary pressure maybe and many other parameters you can have that static young's uh, young's modulus poisson ratio all right all parameters we can have grid of them but the main or the, the basic the minimum requirement that we need is this five parameters okay so far so good we can save all right so yeah that's the basic and now we can go to fleet properties okay 